everybody. We are back with Hacker Summer Camp 101. Uh, I am Nicole Schwartz, the Diana Initiative, and today we have Evil Mog. Tell us about yourself. So I'm Evil Mog. I am the Bishop of the Church of Wi-Fi. I'm a member of Team Hashcat. I do some stuff over at X-Force, but most importantly, I run the DEF CON MUD. So MUD, as in, like, I'm doing an adventure with my friends on text from when I was little? Old school Telnet text-based shenanigans. Um, so how it started, I'll lead off. It's kind of funny. Um, I broke my foot paragliding back about five, six years ago, back during DerbyCon-ish. And so I was stuck in my you know, rear for about six months, and I got kind of bored. So there's an old game I used to play that was kind of broken. So I decided to copy it and turn it into a working mud. Um, it started off as a CTF for smaller conferences. And then eventually, you know, COVID hit and DEF CON needed some activities to go run. So I ported all my code over to DEF CON and I basically started hosting challenges. So there's a mini CTF. Every year the game gets changed up. Um, some years it's been text adventures with intentional hacking and the prize varies. I mean, some years it's here's an analog pocket. Recently, though, the prize these days has been a... Um, DEFCON badge for that year. So some years we've run the event during DEFCON. I've lately taken to running it about a month before DEFCON with a little bit during. That way people can play before the actual main event. People don't have time with all the contests going on to go sit there for two days staring at a text terminal. So for all of you who are new, uh, DEFCON generally is the first week in August, which means you would be looking for this end of June, early July if you wanted to play. Now, you can get your tickets recently online in advance for DEFCON, but you also can do cash at the door. Or there's contests like the MUD here where you can win a ticket and save yourself a pretty decent chunk of change. It's about 450 bucks these days for a ticket. Something around there, and I'm sure it's going to go up again uh, next year. Yeah, so how I managed to get guaranteed my ticket every year is I won Hacker Jeopardy Black Badge with Renderman back DEFCON 27, if I remember correctly. Memories get a little fuzzy. So with a black badge, you get a human badge basically every year. Now, because I run a contest, I already get contest badged, which means that human badge sits there idle. Instead of selling it to friends or anything else, I use it as a guaranteed prize. That's awesome. Now, for anyone interested in participating, do they have to have knowledge of MUDs? Can they be a child? Or is this really open to anyone? It's open to anybody. Now, I will preface that with sometimes this MUD has strong language. So it's PG-13++ parental discretion advised. Um, this year is slightly different. It's not going to be a text adventure. Um, there's an old game called Battletech, which was an old FASA board game. So, so there's a game back in the 90s called Battletech Mux. Now what this did was it was basically real-time mech combat over Telnet, um, complete with like tactical maps and everything else. So I found the original creators. We tend to try and take a different mud every year. So we find somebody who wants to you know, host their game. We spruce it up. Some years it was core mud. Some years it was my custom stuff. One year it was cheese world. This year it's battle tech. So we're basically going to be start running. Let's call it about June 1st or so, but people can go get up to speed on how to play these games by searching for a game called uh, battle tech 3065. It's a sim site that's running right now. That's running the exact same code base and actually running the same co-admins that I would be running during production. So the intention is we're going to start probably around um, June. We're going to offer some kind of point-in scoring system so that people can try and you know, amass points from combat during specific times, like either on Saturdays. We'll open the rest for practice. There'll be a tournament. And then we may or may not have a second tournament itself during DEF CON if people want to go try and compete, if we get enough people signing up we may do a live on stage for some kind of badge again, because I get extras, I can get a nomination for future years. So there will be most likely two prizes handed out. Awesome. So they can do a little bit of prep in advance if they've never played the game, just so they're familiar. And I they strongly recommend 
getting a lot of prep in advance. Um, even if you're an expert mud player, this game is complicated and has a significant learning curve. So I suggest starting to practice now. Like you can pick it up in a couple of times, but there's people who've been playing this for years, and a lot of us have muscle memory. I mean, mind you, the people who know how to play this game are in their 40s or 50s, and may not have time for this so if you're getting in you have a pretty good chance of possibly winning now so if you have a lot of time on your hands you may be able to leverage that yeah you need now, 40 hours of time to learn how to play the game so it's really about actually less than probably about 20 or so would be get you proficient so if you've got time to kill over a couple of weekends you should be okay all right so obviously once this goes out people can start uh playing that sim prep up for it uh and then if they're trying to look for when this is going to start, um, are you on the DEF CON forum or do you have like a Twitter, a Mastodon? Where should they be looking for the announcement of that this is launching and they should sign up? And how do they sign up for this? So I typically have three different uh, methods I announce on. So I usually do one post on the DEF CON forums that comes out around the same time as the social media. The majority of my stuff comes out on Twitter. Um, sorry, X now is this called? I apologize for dead naming Twitter. <laughs> um, so a lot of this stuff comes out on X under evil underscore mog for my um, handle. And then I'm also on the DEF CON Discord. I'll do a post on there as well. I might get it out on Mastodon and Blue Sky. Um, I think I'm under mog.evil.af. And then the domain we have that goes live is defcon.wtf. So they can also just kind of put a ping alert on when content changes uh, for that. Exactly. And so we'll do an announcement on there um, to sign up for this. Basically, he's got to create a character. Um, we'll have some sort of sign up for the CTF. We haven't quite figured out the scoring system. Um, but we expect there to be a decent number of people playing, and it should be a fair bit of fun. Like, if you've ever played those Mech Warrior pods, it's a lot like playing like that. The average game time is only about 10, 15 minutes tops, so it's not like a massive time commitment. And then we'll announce on either the site, Twitter, or Discord um, when we're doing actual scored matches. So there's time to practice, and then during the scored matches, they'll get paired up, and then they can earn points, TBD how that's determined. And are you going to have a public ranking where everyone can see how many points everyone has? Yeah, there will be a public ranking, and then there will be a couple of scenarios. So we're working on some AI mechs to go practice against. Um, we're doing an interesting event that we're adding to the mix that we have never did in the past. Like Harry Potter style, we're going to you know, catch the golden snitch, only this time it's shoot down the golden helicopter that's uh, heavily armed to the teeth. So we might do some weird scenarios like that if we ever get the code to work. At this point, we're just happy the game doesn't crash on us. So... We're doing a couple of meetings up until about January. So assuming everything works, that's the plan. If things fail, we're going to go back to the old school text adventure game. I've already got the backup ready to go. And that's, again, solve quests, slash at things. But for now, the current plan is the Battletech Mox. Now, villages and contests at DEF CON have a variety of options. Some of them have stickers. Some of them sell swag. Some of them just have meetups. Do you have anything in particular that people who are enthusiastic about MUDs and gaming uh, would potentially be able to buy or get or hang out together at the event? Or is it kind of more loosey-goosey and, you know, find people on the Discord and meet up on your own? Well, the good news is we tend to hang out by the scavenger hunt. So Dual D Flip Flop, who runs, who is one of the people who runs the scavenger hunt, also brings about a half dozen terminals to the... Um, event that's connected to the soda machine we will uh, likely yes all of the little machines that made me feel very old yes so we'll be hosting the game on there this year we have posted the mud on there in previous years so we're going to host the game on those things we're going to advertise something probably on the wi-fi we're going to host the entire game on the soda machine itself on the defcon wi-fi and hand out a couple of pamphlets from the uh, scavenger hunt area so you can track me down there that's where i'll mostly be um, I will announce things on Discord, and then we may do an ad hoc tournament, most likely on Saturday sometime before the shenanigans get really messy. We're trying to aim something for on stage, but I have no idea yet. I mean, at, at least at the time of recording, it is early enough on that, you know, no plans have been solidified for anyone yet. But 
got to get all the recordings in so that we can, you know, put exactly. them out while everyone's busy actually doing the work. We have grand designs of how well we can execute. In true DEF CON fashion, we'll be at exercise in heroics, caffeine, and sheer spite. Now, for anyone who's wondering, like, how would I find Scavenger Hunt? Uh, you go to the info booth. Like, you're going to have a booklet when you get your badge. But you can also go to the info booth, and they will have maps. And on the maps, it will say where each one of the spots are. So you just have to go look on the map, find the scav hunt, and then look around the scav hunt and look for Evil Mog. Uh, and you can find the group there. Uh, or Mog tends to show up at Hacker Jeopardy and other places, so you may be able to find him around there. And this year, I'm debating getting a Mesh-tastic node so I can get a Mog tracker so people can track me down while I'm walking around. So I will be trying to announce that out. There is also Hacker Tracker if you want to go track down where we are on the map. Do you remember but... the the last hope, literally, the last hope, mm. where they had the badges where you could track one another? Yep. I wish I wish DEF CON would do that. They do. They... <laughs> so there is a Mesh-tastic network that runs... Um, Scavent runs some, and a few other folks have them. So we're starting to add beacons to us that broadcast our location on the Mesh-tastic network. Um, I know Grifter was on that same style of network, so a bunch of us are starting to post. Because here's the thing, I tend to walk around, but I do spend a lot of time by the soda machine selling shells so that um, yeah, to go raise money for the National Upcycle and Computing Collective. So you'll probably find me there at the vending machine, you know, asking for dollars to go sell shells. But otherwise, yeah, just track me on the tracker. I'll probably tweet out how to track me down and good luck. If you could write that up, I will put it on the hackersummercamp.guide website where I'm posting all of these uh, recordings and info. And I will put that on there. And if we can figure out how to track me, that may actually be oh, totally. as well. Yeah, where's Mog? Where's Nicole? That should be entertaining. Now, we already talked about like how people can find you. We said that really anyone's welcome, but the language is kind of PG-13, so parents may want to decide whether their kid is kind of like, you know, okay with that or not, that they should kind of do a little bit of prep work and play so they can get some of that muscle memory in. But is there anything else you'd say if someone is either new to DEF CON or just new to this contest that they may want to consider and prep before diving into this on their weekend. So the cool thing about this game is there's this concept called a HUD, or heads-up display. The HUD is basically a glorified telnet client that does some weird out-of-band communication protocol to interpret the game's settings. Um, so you can actually get live maps far better than the text-based data out of there. Um, there's one called THUD, T-H-U-D, and there's a few others. We'll post resources. There's also some um, Battletech learning resources on... Yeah, how these things work. Like I said, running code that hasn't seen the light of day since the 90s. So this engine used to be the thing back then. But you're going to need to learn a bunch of muscle memory on that. Um, but as for DEF CON itself, don't try and burn yourself out trying to do all the things. It's going to get busy. It's going to get messy. There's a number of events. Find what calls to you. And if my, if my contest is not your thing, that's totally okay. Find something that makes you happy. And for everyone who's wondering what would interest them, my goal, fingers crossed, is I'm trying to interview every one of the contests and every one of the villages so you can watch these quick little 15-minute clips and find the one that really catches your interest. Uh, and likely you may end up spending your whole weekend there. And there's nothing wrong with spending your entire weekend doing something like one of these contests, hanging out with a bunch of friends, trying to beat your way through this. And you know, if there's enough people interested, say we get 40, 50 people going out, or even 10, 12 people just having fun. I'll run the I'll run a mud independent contest just for the entire duration and come up with a prize. Um, my level of interest in the contest I run depends on the number of people who show up. So if you really feel strongly about this and this is your everything, just let me know and we'll make sure we're available for you. Awesome. Now, are you at any other events other than Hacker Summer Camp or is Hacker Summer Camp where the mud shows up? <laughs> What events am I not at? Because the mud itself goes to uh, just Hacker Summer Camp. Um, but I can run text-based adventures at almost any event. So, I mean, I've been known to run tiny ones at, like, say, CypherCon. Um, I will be at ShmooCon because I'm helping some folks run some game shows. I also get involved in um, whose slide is it anyways. I help judge and do the scoring for that one. So if you're not talking to a uh, rando, I'm involved in that level of shenanigans. Um, there's Hacker Jeopardy, etc. But I've been to 
Hackfest, Shmoocon, ThoughtCon, CypherCon, Hacker Summer Camp, which includes security B sides, uh, Gurkon, a few others. So I get around. There's a chance they might see you at their local B sides or hacker event, wherever they are. Yeah, if you see me, come up and say hi. Say you know me for Zevo Mog, either the Hashcat guy, the Mud guy, or just hey, you saw some of my podcasts. I promise you, I don't bite. Now, if you see me at a conference and I look like I'm just you're, look staring straight ahead and rushing through, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's purely because that's the way I look after day three at DEF CON and I'm getting fully dazed. Um, and I haven't had enough water and I'm trying to get from point A to point B because eventually when you do this enough, people will stop you every 30 seconds. And so you just kind of get this look on your face. Feel free to keep stopping me. You won't be interrupting. It's just that's the look I get when I walk around. Now, as a warning, some people do need to get from point A to point B. So if you are not familiar with like drive-by hugs or walking and talking, you may want to learn them for DEF CON. Drive-by hugs are where you just literally give a hug, walk with somebody for a couple minutes, and then bounce off your separate ways. Or if you don't have a particular place you need to go, but they are on a mission and going somewhere, just walk with them and chat with them until they get to where it is they want to go. So people are friendly at DEF CON, but unfortunately, a lot of people either volunteer a lot or have you know said that they were going to help out certain places. So sometimes you do kind of have to work with people. Yeah, the whole drive-by walking, walk and talk thing happens all the time. I mean, yeah, I do Hacker Jeopardy. Whose slide is it anyways? The Defcon Mud, selling stuff for the NUC, meeting up with random friends, Hashcat Crack if you can, helping out at the Password Village. I mean, Defcon is typically go, go, go. And quite often, you can take a break, grab food, whatever else, or get from one event to the other. So... Don't be offended if I say, hey, walk with me instead of uh, stopping for you. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you for talking to us about your contest. And is there any kind of last things you want to leave people who are either new to contests or new to Hacker Summer Camp in general with to kind of think about before they decide to actually show up? Remember, the, this conference or this contest does win you a uh, human badge. So that's 450 bucks back in your pocket. Um, but honestly, the most important thing is sleep well make sure you constantly hydrate break in your shoes long before defcon because you're going to walk twenty thousand steps a day um make sure you apply deodorant and shower and that's really about it oh yeah you'll meet a lot of cool friends at defcon um the best are just hey you're doing this i'm doing this let's go talk that's or you, you know don't be afraid to chat with people at a party i mean we're all just hackers trying to have a good time Find your tribe, stick with it, have some fun. Awesome. Thank you.